this kind of different way of creating the tent wing on a mature adult caddis fly. Uh, the fly can be tied using a couple different materials. Turkey, for example, uh, coated with Fleximin or whatever. But this is a kind of a different way of doing it. Uh, basically, what you do is you take a tea bag that's used for making tea, cut the top off, dump the tea out, and open it up as such and you take a feather of choice this is godwall feather you can use hen flank uh, pheasant rump any type of feather this one here has some nice barring on it so that's why I chose this for now you take some type of flexible cement which is this is flex seal or you can use Dave's flex cement either one would do I use a toothpick to coat the underside of the wing I guess you could use a brush to do this but uh, what I found is using any type of flexible cement by using a brush it's kind of a once and done thing because it's kind of hard to clean it once it's done so I just use toothpicks you kind of put a liberal coating on the back end back side of the feather take your fingers make sure it's evenly coated lay that feather on top of the paper Then take a needle or another toothpick and using the flat edge of the needle press down on the feather stroking the fibers out you can kind of separate the fibers to where you want it a little bit put a little bit more cement on it again stroke the cement pressing down with a needle or another toothpick make sure cement is coated entirely through the feather onto the back of the paper one way to make sure that the cement is coated the entire way through is to take the paper look at the underside and you can see at the underside the feather is showing through which means that the cement has gone through the feather barbs and into the paper then you can take that feather and cut it out of the paper basically trimming up the edges And you can either take that lay it aside for drying, or you can take it up to your fly tying lamp and lay it against the lamp, and uh, it'll be a quicker drying time that way. You know, it usually only takes about maybe three or four minutes uh, by holding it up to the lamp. But you want to make sure that feather is completely dry before you put it in the wing burner. I have one here that is already dried. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is put it in the wing burner and uh, burn the edges off. What you want to do first is the stem of the fly or the stem of the feather locate right along in there. You want to fold the feather in half right along that stem. And put put the feather in the wing burner with the stem on the top edge of the wing burner. In other words, the wing the feather is folded in half and the stem is right along the top edge of the burner. Take your scissors trim off any excess because if you don't do that and you go to burn off all that material what will happen is is it will generate so much heat that the flex cement that you put in there will actually fuse the feather together which it still does tend to do 
even if you trim some of this off but not near as much take a lighter burn the feather don't spend a whole lot of time doing this because again you don't want that uh, cement to fuse just take your fingers and smooth out the rough edges on it open up the burner grab the feather by the stem and pull it out now what you want to do is trim it a little bit right along the stem trim the bottom and then following the angle of the bottom of the wing following that angle just cut straight back and there you have the wing which still needs to be separated you're still not done with it yet so what you need to do is take another needle and right on the back edge back underside edge of the feather there is a little opening where the paper has separated. There you want to put, insert a needle between the two pieces of paper. And as you're doing this, you want to pull up separating the wing. And there, there you have it. Makes for a very, very nice wing. That uh, creates a pretty realistic uh, wing for a tent wing for a uh, caddis pattern. And the next part of this explanation on how to tie this fly uh, will be following the various steps of tying this onto the hook shank, dubbing the body, creating antenna and hackling.